Hello everyone and welcome back to my balcony garden. I hope you're all well. Apologies, I haven't done a video in a while now. I was on holiday and I've just been really busy. So I'm coming back today with a kind of chilled out video and it is my summer balcony tour. I actually haven't done a balcony tour at all this year, so I think it's about time I did one. So I'm just going to show you the plants I am growing on my balcony, how they are developing, and I'm just going to show you also briefly the layout of my balcony, so like what, where I store my stuff, where I put my plants, how I plant them, what I plant them in. Hopefully that will give you some ideas if you have a similar growing situation like me. So let's get started. So this is the balcony. It's about 3 metres by 2.5 metres and just there you can see this is the main raised bed so this is where I plant most of my plants and also it's plants that I have to be able to tolerate full sun because as you can see my balcony receives a lot of sun. It's also really good for hanging baskets. As you can see I've got different, different types of baskets there. Some with the petunia ones there, just the little ones. And then in these two different ones here I've got uh, chamomile seeds and in there I am growing radishes. Just below that I have a bench, I just kind of got a plank of wood and two stumps of wood there and I just made this little bench and I've got a longer container there and that's filled with seeds. I've just sowed them actually so I've got Chinese cabbage in there and I've got Lollaroso and I've also got other lettuce um, and also radishes in there. Here I have the basil. I grow basil from seed every year. It's so easy to do. Really, really recommend doing it. They grow really well in these pots. So then on the left side, underneath the, the roof part here, this is where I store my tools and pots and soil. It's nice and sheltered and it's a cooler part of the balcony so the things don't get too hot there. Here I have my table and chairs. I bought two cushions today. These are from a shop called Butler's. I think they're about 12 euros each and I just love them. They're like a really soft, pretty blue color and very comfortable. And then on the right hand side of the balcony, I, this part of the balcony also receives a lot of sun but it is also at times shaded. So. I pop my plants that can tolerate sun but also do like a bit of shade, I pop them always in this corner here. This shelf unit, I actually built it, I found an Instagram, uh, sorry a Pinterest explanation on how to build it and it's just invaluable, it's really good for saving space and growing lots of plants on. And then up here we have roof shelves, so my boyfriend built these last year and they have also been invaluable in creating more space and just allowing us to grow more stuff on the balcony. This floor we got from Ikea but we didn't oil it and it doesn't come oiled so the colour has totally gone and there's actually I've got bits of fungus actually um, starting to appear so if you do, I'm really happy with it but if you do buy any kind of flooring like this for a balcony and it's going to be outside make sure that you oil it before because it's going to start to rot if it's wooden. Last year I also painted the container and the back wall there and I actually I've got videos I'm going to link all the videos that I talk about in here and it, um, I am so happy with the result and I'm so happy with the paint as well. Remember to always use outdoor paint if you're painting something that is going to be outside. It has survived a winter no chips and I just think it makes the balcony look so pretty. So this is the raised bed. I've got three different or three bromello tomato plants in there. They're a determinate bush variety. I grew them last year. Honestly they gave us the most enormous harvest so really recommend that. In the middle is a Vilma. So that's also a bush determinate variety. Um, you can see though the difference in the form, so that is the Romello there and then that is the Vilma, it's much smaller. Here is a Physalis plant, I've actually got a few more in pots. Uh, it's my first time growing them from seed. They grow quite similarly to tomatoes, you just have to care for them in the same way. Everything's going fine so far, it's beginning to branch out. 
Um, can't see any buds yet, but we will see. A tomato popped off. Ooh, tomato popped off already. Oh well. And then these two are peppers that I've again grown from seed and they're padron. So there's those smaller Spanish peppers, the green ones, that are amazing roasted. I can't wait to eat them. The buds are starting to show. Oh, yep, yeah, buds are starting to show. Just have to keep an eye out for the stink bug larvae because they demolish them. Um, this is the other one. Yep. This pot is full of coriander seeds. I grow coriander every year. It's so easy to do, honestly. I can't recommend it enough. I can't wait to eat it when it starts to appear. So these three vines that you see are cucumbers. They are the variety is Delicate Bee and they are a compact variety so they're not going to grow that tall. Never grown cucumbers before. I'm going to start hand pollinating the flowers shortly because they're starting to appear. The vines are starting to, to climb these temporary stakes I put in. I'm going to have to put in taller ones because they're already reaching the top. But yeah, really healthy. No problems, germinated beautifully can recommend it so far. Growing lots of lettuce, been eating lots of lettuce. This one is dynamite. Uh, I've just harvested some of it actually. I'm gonna eat that later. This lettuce is Ladetta. Also yummy. And in between the two lettuce containers is mint that I bought in a shop last year rooted them, popped them into this container and they overwintered really really well and they've all grown back so I haven't had to do anything for this at all this year so I'm really happy with that. My camera just turned off because it was too hot, it's too hot in the balcony. It's about 30 degrees. Mm. These are roof shelves. So here I've got Thai basil, grow it every year, recommend it. Here and here are meadow flowers that I sow as well for the bees. This one here is lemon basil. And then there's some more lettuce. Uh, that is dynamite. And here we also have another physalis plant. So I'm in the left hand corner of the balcony and I always sit here because it's like a cozy wee nook and protected from the wind. Um, I'm also hidden from my neighbours because I have a lot of neighbours that can look. Um, so it's nice to have a bit of privacy and I can look at all of my plants and just enjoy them. They're beautiful. So I think now I'm just going to have a little cup of tea on the balcony. I'm going to chill out and enjoy my plants and enjoy the evening. If you enjoyed the video, support the channel by subscribing. I hope you're all staying safe and well. I send you all my good wishes and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Okay, Hello, I just wanted to finish this video with uh, another version of my balcony. This is two days after I filmed the video you just watched and we are experiencing the most insane rain ever. It's been raining like this for about 16 hours now and I'm not even joking. It just hasn't stopped. So I've had to move all my plants underneath. All the seedlings are getting squished. Um, look. Yeah. Uh, I've never seen rain like this, and I'm from Scotland, so I'm, I mean, that's saying something, I'm surprised. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Bye!